You know, the racing game genre is one of my all-time favorites, and some of my all-time favorite racing memories come from playing a racing game with friends or family. So, this video is going to cover some of my top 10 favorite racing moments in video games. Now, just to clear something up before we begin, this video is going to cover my top 10 favorite racing experiences in video games. And not every entry on this list is going to be a full-blooded racing game. Some of the entries on this list are mostly action-adventure titles, but have some racing elements to them, such as a multiplayer mode or a minigame. In other words, this video is going to cover what I deem the top 10 racing experiences in video games. Also, while I will try to keep the one game per series, I make no guarantees about that. Are we clear? Alright, I guess if we're all clear on that, then I guess we can proceed. Get ready to... Start your engines for Game Tom's Top 10 Racing Experiences in Video Games. Fasten your seatbelts for another Game Tom creation. Number 10. Kirby Superstar slash Kirby Superstar Ultra Gourmet Race. Kirby Superstar is a fantastic game on the SNES, and one of my favorite parts from that game was the fact that it was like a million games in one. And on the DS remake, Kirby Superstar Ultra, it gets even better with more games and more ways to play. This is one of my very favorite Kirby games, and one of my favorite games on the DS in general. Gourmet Race is one of the most notorious minigames in the collection, and one that is often referenced throughout the series. In it, you play as Kirby in a race against King Dedede to see not only who can finish first, but who can eat the most tasty goodies on the way there. In the original Kirby Superstar, you only get to play against the computer, but in Ultra, you also have the option of playing against another person with a Nintendo DS. The only thing that can make this game better is, of course, playing it with your friends. Plus, it's got some of the best Kirby music in the whole franchise. It's been reworked a bunch of times, but it's always amazing. Take a listen. Number 9! Wacky Races for the Game Boy Color. This game is lots of fun. I spent hours on this game as a wee young lad, based off of an old cartoon from the same name. It's got solid controls and good graphics for the Game Boy Color. It actually kind of feels like you're racing in a 3D environment the way they set it up. It's got fun, varied characters to choose from as well, though I always chose the Slag Brothers. There's even a guy who kind of looks like a brown R2D2, but I always hated that guy. I mean, I mean, just just look at him. He's a total jerk. Yeah, get, get, stop it. I had that. That was my item. Dang it, R2. Get out of the way, R2. You will not ruin this for me, R2. The levels are always bright and colorful, and it's got fantastic music to match. And of course, as any good racing game can attest to, there's lots of unlockable levels and characters to get into later. This also adds a fair amount of replay value. It's also got a really cool item system. It feels a lot like Mario Kart. Except each item also kind of tracks and homes in on your target, so it's a lot easier to use. This is especially a good way to make up for the perhaps not as good graphics at the time. Some of these items include fireballs, freeze missiles, invincibility, speed boosts, and friggin' lightning! Sometimes nothing's more satisfying than bringing down almighty wrath upon your enemies. And it is truly something to behold. <laughs> Taste my mighty wrath, R2! It's very simple, pretty easy, and loads of fun. I hope you enjoy this one. Mm, number 8! Star Wars Episode One Racer on the Nintendo 64. A solid game, and very, very intense. Controls are pretty solid, although a little looser than you'd like, but this is done on purpose. 
It feels very wild, and you're kept on the edge of your seat for the whole time. If you want some high-octane fun along with a bit of Star Wars flavor, this is your one-stop shop. It offers many things that modern racing games consider a must-have nowadays, such as multiple camera angles and the ability to look behind you while driving. Although this last feature is not usually recommended. The game can already be pretty disorienting, and this little technique has messed me up more than a few times, but it's all in the fun of it. Of course, the most hardcore pod racers will play with the full zoom feature on at all times. And then you can really feel the adrenaline. Well, <sighs> until you crash, that is. Also, some of these characters make the funniest noises, mostly when exploding. But overall, the best feature of this game by far, by far, has got to be Watto humming the cantina theme in the background of the menu screen. Just. Just take a listen. Magical. Actually, it's very similar to another game on this list. Hmm, I wonder who it could be. Number seven. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Now, this game is so much fun. It's fast paced and highly competitive. What I really liked most about this game was the two player mode, which was basically just running through a level from Sonic Adventure 2's story mode with a buddy competing to see who can finish first. Sonic Adventure 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and so being able to share that experience with someone else is just amazing. Each character, except for one, can use special moves by gathering rings. You can attack with a special, hurtful whirlwind, stop time for your opponent, or speed yourself up temporarily. There are other multiplayer modes in Sonic Adventure 2, but for the action race section, you can choose from four different characters. Sonic, Shadow, Amy Rose, and Metal Sonic, each of which has something unique about them that makes them fun to play. Well, Sonic and Shadow are pretty much the same character, but they at least have a unique flavor that makes them feel different. At least to me. Sonic and Shadow each have the highest acceleration, while Metal Sonic has the highest top speed, and Amy can use attacks with far less rings than the others. Also, Metal Sonic has this awesome exclusive move called Black, Black Shield, Shield, where he is invulnerable from enemy attacks. Almost makes up for the fact that he can't use special attacks himself. Boy, I remember playing this game all the time at a friend's house way back in the day, but he always got to play as Sonic because it was his house. Well, who's playing Sonic now, Tyler from grade school? Number six. Mario Kart 8! Guitars and... Sassophones! And you can play as Link, too! <clears throat> um, uh, but on a more serious note, uh, uh, Mario Kart 8 is one of the best Mario Kart games in the franchise. It's got such smooth and tight controls that are some of the best in the Mario Kart series. Not only that, but it's got a colorful cast of characters and amazing level design. The game looks absolutely beautiful as being the first HD Mario Kart in the series. Let me just... just look at it. Mario has never looked finer. I mean... Just... just, just look at that. Just... just look at that. 